having some playoff struggles mm -hmm. um, coming into the Eastern Conference, had a phenomenal Eastern Conference. Do you feel as confident in that you figured it out coming into the NBA Finals? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, what what the problem was for me was not being aggressive enough. And, um, you know, early in the, season, in the series, you know, first round, second round, you know, trying to be more of a facilitator. But what our team needs is for me to score and be aggressive and get downhill, get to the free throw line, and, you know, make the assists when they're there. You know, all season I was the guy kind of making sure guys got shots up, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But coming to the playoffs, things are different. You want to be more aggressive, more assertive. You want to be, you know, more of a scorer, more of an attacker. You do so many things for this team that don't end up in a box score. You do, by the way, plenty that does end up in a box <laughs> score. <laughs> but there were games where you had less of the stats. Mm -hmm. And what is it like to hear that, especially where everything's so intensified in a playoff situation? Or when you do score a lot and they're like, oh, they wasted the Kyle Lowry 30-point yeah. game because he's never going to do that again. Right. Like I that mean, kind of thing. Because it's all magnified at right. this time of year. It, to me, it doesn't bother me. You know, it's just like an, it's an opinion. Everyone has it. But for me, I understand what I do for my team. And the most important thing is being doing the things for your team to win games. Mm -hmm. And we're at this point for a reason. You know, even if I average five points the whole playoffs and we're at this point, can't say much about it. You're, you're, you, you win games and you get to you win games to try to get to this point, and that's where we are. Let's talk a little bit about the the way this team has unfolded and come together because you and Masai Ujiri had some difficult moments <laughs> when I was here. I mean, let's just what be real. It moments. It was, just, it was professionalism. Hey, let's you be this. real. When I was here with you guys in December, you guys still hadn't even really spoken right. to each right. other in anything but a very formal way. Right. You and I sat down for an interview. I was like, "What's your relationship with Masai?" And you said, "He is the president of the team. I am a player on the yeah, team." But that's still the truth. That it is, is the truth, hundred percent. But I did see him again at the All Star break, mm -hmm. and he. He said to me, Kyle and I sat down and talked, and yeah. he seemed so relieved. Yeah. What was that conversation like for you that you guys had in February before the trade deadline? It was more so the conversation of, you know, what we're going to do going forward. You know, it wasn't about what happened in the past. It was about, you know, listen, if you want to be here, we want you to be here, and we need you to be that guy. We need you to be Kyle Lowry that's bought in and to make sure that you got everybody else, you know, going with you. And it was good. You know, it was a good conversation. It wasn't like this or that at point. It was more so, listen, this is what we both want. How do we get there? How do we get on the same page? And that's where you become, you know, you know your real-life grown man, where you can sit down with another man, look him in the eyes, and have a conversation and say, this is one one thing, this is this, blah, 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 whoop de woo Settle your differences, shake hands. Let's go out here and do our jobs and, you know, continue to be great. Now, I know at this point in the season, yeah, everybody's not 100%. How's the hand? Uh, I'll have to take care of that this season, but I don't want to talk about it as much. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> now, I, I, I seen something that was like, don't talk about it. I was yeah, like, I'm yeah. not talking about it. You know, <laughs> it's being brought up. I haven't complained about it. I won't complain about it. I don't care about it. I'm going to continue to do the things I need to do to make sure I can play at a high level. And that's it. So in the same way where Masai Ujiri is the president and you yeah. are a player yeah. and your hand is it's, not it's exactly here. 100%. It's here. It's here. We haven't amputated it yet. Not, not yet. But what, how does it, does it just your guide, guiding when you're doing your shot? How well, does it affect your game? Uh, you know, it's about passing. Okay. And I'm a big passer and I think that's one of the reasons I've I ain't passing. I've never pass. seen you pass with your left hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I've never seen you pass. Oh. I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm lying, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm lying. I know, I know. Listen, Mac, one of the best passes I've ever been. But um, it's just the, you know, the, the, the flicking of the passing, the kind of the ball moving, the handling the ball. Um, during the game, honestly, I can't feel my thumb. You know, we real. It's, yeah. it's like that. Uh, we do some things. I wasn't going to talk about it. She just baited. Yeah, it. You're right. I, mean, I thought you had better medium training. You were good at your job. You were good at your job. <laughs> hey, I'm good at my job. Thank you very much. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, they basically go up. No, but yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's healthy. It's healthy. <laughs> um, but they give you enough shoot it up that it's just we, numb. Yeah, exactly. We're good to go. Okay. Can you play? Ba I have never played professional basketball. Can you do that with only one half a hand? Absolutely. Yeah. Apparently, he's in the NBA finals. Hey, we here. Damn well, like, I appreciate it, man. You know. I do want to follow up on one more Masai thing just because yeah. he spoke earlier today okay. and he said the guys who came before are part of this, yeah. guys like Tracy or Vince, but yeah. also he pointed out DeMar DeRozan. Yeah. Have you spoken to DeMar in the last week, in the last couple days? Uh, he said he didn't need friends. Uh, <laughs> I talked literally. I, what time is it? Uh, <laughs> I, I talked to him about eight hours ago okay. before I went to bed. I talked to DeMar every day. And yeah. it's, you know, listen. He, we wouldn't be at this organization, this franchise wouldn't be here, you know, Mac and, and Vince and all those guys, and DeMar at this point also. You know, DeMar definitely is a big part of what we built here. Um, unfortunately, he's not here with us right now, but at the end of the day, he's he's texted me, Freddie, all the guys that he has former relation, well, he has relationship yeah. with, he still texts us after every, you know, we all got one, me, Norm, Pascal, Serge, and that's just the type of person he is. He has no hate in his blood. He has no any ill will to any of us. He wants us to be successful. 
And if we, he wants me to, you know, wants us to win a ring. Yeah. And that's the one thing about him. That's why he's such a great man is he, he wants us to be successful. He put up that Instagram post, I think it was yesterday, of him alone on vacation. Yeah. I haven't been on Instagram. Well, I didn't I know if that, that was supposed to be you with him because I know that you <laughs> yeah. have done like that ghosting up, dapping him in the hallway, like pretending as if he's still I, there. I don't I know gotta, if that was him a reference to be you being with him. I got a transport him. machine, so I, was, I took the picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who took the picture. But you guys are going to spend time together in the off season, we'll though, whenever off whenever season. you become available. But you're not available, not available. a little bit later well, on. More weeks. Yeah. Um, t Mac, can you just speak to your, for, your former rookie charge or whatever oh, I, was, I was old how, by then. how old were you i was uh my fourth or fifth yeah year. We, we got him from memphis yeah, okay we got, we got him from memphis and, but to uh, see him and how his game has changed and the fact that he's on this stage now what, what have you seen in him in the way because because he's gone through a real I mean, number one is he's always had the toughness right but i, I think his leadership you know is it's it's really highlighted of uh how he's leading his team uh, being able to adapt to certain players that that comes and goes being able to adapt with Demar, he goes out there and Kawhi comes in. I mean, he's had to change his game so many times of what was required of him and he's been able to fulfill that. And that's, that's high praise right there. <laughs> you want to tell me you want to tell us anything on him? It's yeah, not about you no, open no, camera. No, we, we're giving we, you the chance. No. Mac is one of the greatest oh. basketball players of all time. Aww, time. See, I mean, there like, we go. Know, <laughs> he, he, was, he was good for me and I learned a lot and he helped me out with my transition. So, you know, I always appreciate those guys like him.